We're celebrating our 50th anniversary, Alex and I, of arguing and plotting and planning together. I showed up right out of, geez, I graduated in 72, and a few months later, we were making music in his parents' house. We started working in clubs and bars, and the work started coming pretty fast and furious. We played five 45-minute sets a night. And we would play four nights a week, okay? We would put all the material into our cars and our vans, and we would pull over sometimes, depending on the weather, you change that electrics around. You could put a bass drum up on top of the car, and you could wipe the rain off it. Electrics, not so much. We stopped eating right after high school. All the money went into the gas tank, and I remember the sandwich that Al Van Heelan would have half in his mouth, and the other half he would just hand me when he got into my car. And we would drive around the corner to the villa and Allen where the gas station was, and we would both get out of the car so we could both go through all four of our pockets for every coin we had to go through and put it in the gas tank. We made $120 a night, and we worked four nights a week, and we'd get paid on Saturday night. And we would go with our girlfriends to, we were always within two hours of getting back to base here. And the only place in Pasadena open was the Denny's. It's 1973, 74, 75, 76. And we were pull in for what we called the Saturday Night Supper Club. And we would get there at three in the morning and order everything on the menu. Everything, all three banana splits, the slam dunk breakfast with the bacon, and then the one with the sausage. And you get all the kinds of the pasta and just extra ketchups and extra sugars and extra buddy pats and everything you could. We would pull two tables together, always same ones in the back, and just, it looked like one of those double album feasts. It was amazing. At first, the old ladies was horrified. This is 1973. I remember, I just shared it with Al. He, he told it back to me before I asked him to remember. He said, the cop came walking in, and this was cop town. And he came in, he said, who are y'all? He looked right at me. You remember what we look like? And I said, sir, we're a rock and roll band. He says, y'all got enough money to pay for this? We said, yes, sir, we do. He said, show me the money. And we all pulled our 120 fine green crisp sweat through your fucking shoes money. Here it is. He said, okay, okay. And he took two steps. I remember it like yesterday, last night. He took two steps, turned around, and said, you, you make sure you pay these ladies. You give them a, you give them a good tip, y'all. And we did, because only people who stiff you on the tip is rich folks. Hard working, knows who's hard working. And the ladies would giggle, and they'd go, here comes the Saturday Night Supper Club. And they'd act like little girls and start running that little pity patty dance like you're 10 years old, and they're in their 70s. And we would eat and eat and eat. And no, it's tomorrow's Sunday. So every butter patty, every ketchup, every napkin, Every paper cup was carefully put into the bags and taken home, and you would spend all Sunday eating. Because on Monday, it was back to practice, and singers don't eat. Tuesday, practice. Wednesday, I'll see you at 9.15. Hi, my name's Dave. These are the Van Halen brothers. You know Mike. And we're going to put some smoke on your fucking water. And we would start all, we did that for five and a half years. Okay, I just found some pants upstairs. I, you know, I saved some of the old clothes. I wore a size 29. Eddie was size 26. That's my beginnings, okay? That's how I I'm, I'm run there. And uh, I'm running up here today with the departure of my beloved classmate recently, Ed. Al and I have been talking. I can't speak for him just yet. I just spoke to him. He knows everything I'm about to tell you. I am encouraged and compelled to really come to grips with how short and probably my time is even shorter. I thought I might go first, frankly. I might have thought the Marlboro man might have got me. Hey, Ed, objects in the rearview mirror are probably me. And my doctors, my handlers compel me to uh, really address that every time I go on that stage, I endanger that future. 
I know when I sit in the audience, all I ask, you come out with a ukulele or a marching band, all I ask is that you give me everything you got to give. That's what I did for the last 50 years. And uh, I'm throwing in the shoes. I'm retiring. And this is the first and only official announcement. Al, my handlers, you got the news. You share it with the world. I'm not going to explain a statement. The explanation is in the statement. These are my last five shows. I got a band that's doing what Al and I used to call a block. That means 75 rehearsals for one show. The warm-up for one summer assault is the same for 10. So we're going to bring it in classic VH style. Alex and I are the only version. That was his message. There is no other variation. There is no torch being passed. There is no other side of this heads-up tail coin. This is the classic In Your Face Van Halen, and we're going to be playing to you for the rest of your time and your great-grandchildren's. I gave you all I had to give. It's been an amazing, great run. No regrets, nothing to say about anybody. I miss y'all. Stay frosty.